Thanks for joining us this morning for our 7 a.m. strength workout. We'll give everybody a couple moments to log on and join us. Welcome if this is your first workout today. And thanks for coming back if you joined us for the body weight this morning. We also have yoga coming up today at 8.30. So if you want to stick around and join me for that, that would be great. And welcome to everybody who's also um, joining us later today. Good morning, Missy. Good morning, Bree. Good morning, Leslie. Give me a quick heads up. Can you guys see uh, Melanie's feet on this one? Good morning, Christina. Can you guys see Melanie's feet? Are they, can you see everything she's doing? We're trying to get closer to you guys. Cool, thank you, Bree. That's it. We'll give everyone one minute, everybody. One minute, good morning, good morning. Make sure if you have weights of some sort, you have a lighter weight, typically for the upper body work, and a heavier weight, typically for the lower body work. And for those that are needing weights, remember, Jenna sent something out yesterday. The pickup will be scheduled for Thursday, tomorrow, on Mind Body. You must sign up for one time slot. We're only gonna do one person every 10 minutes. You need a lighter weight and a heavier weight, and I'll be running weights out to you. All right, we got about 20 seconds, and then we're going. Come back down, back cradle. 
So that, those hips up is the same move as your rock back. So you drove your hips forward. Again, that's called hip extension. It's gonna stretch out the front of that hip. If we sit a lot, those get really short, really tight. You wanna make sure you drive those hips all that. Think about pushing your butt through the front of your hip. You got one more. Get up there, last one. Nice cradle, go ahead and switch legs. So now we're staying on our backs. Take your left foot over your right thigh, right knee. And you got to bridge up, come back down, and cradle. Bridge up, come back down, and cradle. Feel that stretch on the outside of that left hip. Ah, uh, yes. Get those hips loosened up. This feels good. Keep it going. We got 10 seconds here. Nice and slow. Two second hold, two to three, and then cradle. Let's get one more here, Melanie. Nice, nice, nice. Next one's called a dead bug. I want you laying flat on your back, arms straight up. Knees are over hips. Tabletop position. Next one, you're gonna extend left leg out, right arm back. Hold it for three, two, one. Bring it in, pause, tighten up those abs, and extend away. Now, as you reset back to your center, you wanna make sure you lock those abs, and that's like your home base. When you extend your leg out is when you exhale, you really can work out those lower abs drawing up towards your ribs, your ribs driving down towards your lower abs. We don't want to see any arching. Go nice and slow on these ones. Three second hold. Try to give me a nice solid breath out as you extend out. Last one here, each side. Nice, you got one more. Beautifully done. I'll meet you back in the high plank. Do a groiner hold to a T rotation to a triangle. We did this one Monday, I believe. So, high plank, downward dog, step your right foot outside your right hand. Now, stay there. From there, open up right, reach the ceiling. If you want to open up left, we're going to show you that one. Open up left arm, put the hand back down. Now, triangle stretch. You're going to go up and back like Melanie, or you're just going to sit your butt back to your heels. Okay, go ahead and sink low, stay on your right leg. Open up right, open up left. Either rock up or rock back. And just lean forward for the hamstring stretch. Pay attention, make sure it doesn't bother knees or anything like that. Make sure you're moving slowly here, especially if you're just joining us. If you did the 6 a.m., you're probably a little, a little bit looser. Use this as a nice recovery period. You got last T rotation, last triangle. Three, two, and relax there. All right, step back to high plank, downward dog. Now you're gonna step your left foot outside your left hand. Sink your butt low, open up left side reach, open up right side reach, rock up or rock back, pull that toe up, get a nice hamstring stretch, a nice big exhale out. You wanna get nice and low on that groiner hold, get into those hips, open it up, go slow. This is your chance to kind of feel out how the body is feeling. Take some inventory. The hips are maybe a little bit tight, butt's a little bit tight, back's a little cranky because you fell asleep on the couch last night, watching some Netflix series. Now's your chance to get moving. Your body will wake up. Just gotta listen to it a little bit and push it. Good, you got one more. 10 seconds to get all the way through. Five, four, three, two, and stand up. <clears throat> We're gonna go some arm circles. Stand up straight, give me some nice arm circles, pick a direction, start small, and then work as big as you want. Let's get really big. You may even go one at a time, whatever feels natural to you. Go backwards, start small, and then naturally get bigger and bigger and bigger. Try to roll those shoulders back, get everything loosened up. Notice how we're not arching, we're not flailing, we're kind of locked in. You're nice and stacked, you're nice and tight. You're going to hear us say that stuff a lot. Own your plank position. Last one. Good. We got butt kickers here. Butt kickers. You can bring the knees up, but also bring your heels to your butt. For those at home doing their living rooms, it's going to teach you how to bang on the floor nice and soft so that way you don't wake the kiddos up. And relax there. Arm circles again. I'm going to tie my shoe. Arm circles. Make sure you're all set. Make sure you have your water. 
your light weights, your heavy weights. We're going to do just one weight at a time to switch directions. One weight, simply because not everyone has weights. And as we give them out to people, doing the results at home program, we're going to do the best we can. Last two. Last one. Butt kickers. Come on, a little faster this time. A little faster. Pump those arms. A little bit more. We got 10 seconds left. Get that heart rate up. We want to get you going. It's only like a six, seven minute warm up because we want to make sure you get in and get out. Four, three, two, boom. That's the warm up. Quick swig of water. As always, we're going to explain everything first. Show modification. So that way when we do our three or four sets of things, you guys can modify and pick the best movement for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, ready? Here we go. First move. Again, warm up, do it with us so you can kind of feel it out. Start doing a low plank or a high plank, whatever you want. Feet wide, tighten those abs up. You're gonna reach your right arm out, hold it for three seconds, bring it back down. Reach your left hand out, three seconds, back down. Melanie, you shouldn't need bent one. Plank here, reach, come back down. Reach, come back down. Show one more. So the back stays flat, all right? There you go. Cool. Next one, stand up, grab your lighter weight. I'm going to say lighter or heavier. Lighter weight, we're going to do uh, all right side first. We have tricep kickback. So, you're going to grab your weight of choice. You're going to push your butt back. Get as flat as you can. Kind of roll that weight to your chest to start off. Elbow to our side. Kick back. This weight, way too heavy. Kick back. Kick back. So when we do these, we want to end up squeezing. I'm going to show the tricep. Squeeze the tricep. You don't want to fly. You want to end up just going straight. Relax. Straighten it out. Relax. Good. Stand up. We're going to do bicep curl, same arms. If you're down here, you're good there, Melanie. Big curl. So if you're here, stand up straight. Again, we're limited on equipment. We're going to do the best we can. So all these workouts will be catered towards the majority of people that have one lighter weight and one heavier, heavier weight. Good, then we do the left side. Cool. All right, kicks, or I'm sorry, speed skaters, speed skaters first. So speed skaters, you're gonna end up hopping from right to left, left to right. So let's go slow. From our left foot, right, or left leg, hop to your right, hop to your left. Hop to your right, hop to your left. Keep going, modification would be step, bounce, step, bounce. You have to bounce. I want you to work on that bounce. Progression would be if you want to crank up to level three, hop, sit, hop, sit, hop, sit. Get your butt down. Get all that weight to that one side. Three levels right there. Good. Kick stand already up. Grab your heavier kettlebell or dumbbell. We're going to start you on the right side first. So standing on your right foot, point your left toe down, hold the weight on our right hand. So everything's going to be same side for today. Make a fist in your left hand. Push your butt back as far as you can. Practice at home. Come forward. Push your butt back. Keep your chest out. Again, this is not a squat. This is literally push your butt back, pause, squeeze. So on these strength days, it's not as fast. If you have weights, I want you to slow it down a little bit until we tell you to crank it up. Let's get one more. Feel those hamstring stretch and squeeze. Good. So we're going to do that side, then left side, and then you know we can't go wrong with some push-ups. We got push-ups next. All right. So you get your push-ups. Hands outside chest. Chest right between the hands. You're gonna go down nice and slow. So when you're doing these, I want the um, hands just a little wide on the shoulders. I want those elbows not super tight, not super wide, somewhere in between. As you're doing these, open that chest up. We don't want to see any rolling shoulders. I want you guys to stay healthy, keep those joints healthy, so we want to make sure you're moving properly. We're going to coach you as much as we can from here. All right? And that's it. I went through everything. You did. I did. That's why I was a little confused. Well, I was confusing. Great. I got ahead of myself. Awesome. All right, so we got plank single on reach. We'll come back to that stuff. Ready? We're going to plank it out. We got five seconds here. Four, three, two, and go ahead. So you're going to reach out the right arm, three second hold. Three second hold. You got high plank or you got low plank, whatever you want to do. Just try to make sure those hips stay nice and level. Keep those abs locked in. There you go. 
Notice how Melanie's hips are staying nice and flat. Imagine you're balancing a little child on your back. Your favorite pizza pop. Maybe a ton of ice cream. Make sure you don't drop that. If you're Sydney Keen watching here, make sure you have that wine, that wine glass nice and balanced. You don't want to drop that wine. You got four seconds here. Three, two, one. Stand up. Lighter weight kickbacks. Cindy's getting picked on a lot. She's getting picked on. I know she's watching. <laughs> All right, so kickbacks. Get the back. Ready? Set, go. Kick back. Squeeze the back of that arm as we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Pause. Get a nice little flex on that right arm. Come on, 10 seconds. Work those triceps. It's beach season all year round. Five, four, three, two, and good. Bicep curl, same arm. Again, abs locked in. So anything loaded one side, it's going to force you to lock in. Good. Big squeeze of that bicep. That's in the front of your arm. Just the opposite move of your tricep. Come on, we got three more. Now we're going to go left side. Four, three, two, and relax. There, left side kick back. Flat back. Ready? Go ahead. Straighten your arm out. You can take your right hand and bring it on your thigh if you want. Just stay flat. Really over exaggerate chest out. Squeeze it. You got a mirror in your house? Flex in front of that mirror. Come on, two more. Last one. Good. We got bicep curls next. Right into it. Right into those. Try to stay nice and balanced here so we don't crank it through our back like that. Slow. So this first piece, I showed all eight of them. I got really excited. We're going to do all upper body. So we're going to go back to the top here in a second. You got one more. And relax there. All right, so this first piece, all upper body. Let's see if you remember the next piece on the next set. All right, here we go. Plank single arm reach in five seconds. Four, three, two, and go. Wide feet reach. I was going too fast. At least two seconds. At least two seconds. At least. At least. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There you go. Stay locked in. We got 10 seconds left. We can drop the knees. If you feel like you need to drop the knees, if your form starts getting sloppy, drop down. Hold tight. Four, three, two, good. Let's get you up. Tricep kickback, right side, and then tricep, or then bicep curl, right side. All right, kickbacks, you ready? Sit, go. There's about 30 seconds here. Plenty of time to get in about 12, 15 reps. Hold that one second. If you're doing lighter and lighter weight, if you only have lighter weights, go more. More reps. If you're going heavier, be careful you don't hurt that elbow. Come on, you got three more. One. Two, last one. Three, bicep curl. Right into those bicep curls. Right side. What do you guys got back home? What weight you got? I only got 20. That's hard enough. You guys are beasts. There you go. Come on, we get three more of them? Yep. There you go. One, two, last one. Squeeze those guns. Good. Left side, kick back. And we're going right into that kickback. Go ahead, flat back. Tricep extension, big squeeze. If you got something at home that's heavier, that's on a weight, improvise. Find a way to get it done. Three more. One, two, three. Stand tall, bicep curl, go ahead. Keeping that elbow pretty close to our side. I don't see any flailing elbows here. I want to see that nice tall plank. There it is. Feels in your arms? Yes. Yeah. There 
Hey, uh, hey, three. There's one. Come on. There's two. Last one. Big squeeze. Hell yeah. All right. We're going to go back to the top. We got one more set. I probably confused the hell out of you by going out of order. I'll, I'll bring us back for our lower body moves. All right. So we got a plank. Single arm reach. Ready? In three. In two. And we're reaching. Remember, you're locked in. Abs locked in. Butt is locked in. And we hold for three. We hold for three. You're going to alternate your rights and your lefts. You got kneeling as well. All you do is drop those knees down, keep that chest up. There you go. This upper body circuit is tough. Challenge yourself. There you go. You got one more each side. Four, three, two, one. Stand up, bicep curl right, kick back right. I'm sorry, kick back right, bicep right. Ready, set, tricep, go. You think it'd be pretty easy to follow a board? <laughs> wow. It's early. <laughs> there you go. I guess it's authentic. I do the same thing here. At least, you know, at least you know it's, uh, it's me just being me. Three more. Two more. Come on. Last one. Boom! Curls. Come on, right side. You'll notice you got to really use those abs, otherwise your body starts like swaying, right? Get it in. Burn it already! Come on, we got three. Right. One. Two, last one. Good. Left side, kick back. Try some kick back. Get flat. Chest out and squeeze the back of that arm as you extend back. Don't just throw it back. Control your weight. Use a little mind-muscle connection. What are you working on? Triceps. So let's work on that squeeze. Think about it. Think about straightening that arm out. Straighten it up. Good. Good. Come on, we got about seven seconds left. Stay with it. Come on, four, three, two, bicep curl, left side. Squeeze those biceps, come back down slow. It's getting heavy, so I know at home you might be using that shoulder. Focus on the proper technique here. Maybe go a little bit wider, lighter weight. That was my plan. <laughs> yeah. I tried that too. We're gonna make these hard enough so if you only had two weights, they would be just fine. Four, three, two, good. Is that three rounds already? That is. Damn. All right, so that's upper body. Now in the beginning, I explained a little goofy. So now we're gonna go lower body move. Um, I gotta show it again just because it was so long ago. So we're gonna start with the ipsy lateral reverse lunge. We're going to show that move first. Now we're going to start. Weights in our right hand. Step back with our left leg. Go ahead. So when you lunge, I'm going to call about 85, 90 percent of your weights on your front leg. Keep lunging there. Go nice and slow. Drop down. That knee comes pretty much straight down underneath your hip. Now when I say balance, right side balance, you're going to hold yourself up. You're going to balance on your right leg. Don't change anything. Just hold it. Then I'm going to say lunge. We're going to do it again. So we're going to do two rounds of that. So right side lunge, right side hold. For those doing not lunges, just step back, tap. Bring it up. Step back, tap. Weight still on the right leg. Okay? We'll do right, we'll do left. So my non-lunging friends, keep your weight full. You got right, right. Then we have speed skaters. Speed skaters, you're going to hop right to left. Or just step. Crank it up a notch. If you want to go level three, sit. Get level three. Get level three. There you go. So you pick your option. Now we'll go back. Kickstand RDLs. Standing on your right foot, left toe down. You're going to hinge back as far as you can. Back flat, come through. You should feel this right in the hamstring of the right side. Your right leg's forward. You're going to make sure you go straight back, straight through. It's not a squat. Good, we'll go to the left side. And then we got push-ups. We've done that one before, and it's a pretty common move. We're gonna get you going in 10 seconds. We don't do push-ups 
All right, so we're going to try to get you doing the heavier weight out of your two moves. So out of your two weights, the heavier weight. Here we go. Reverse lunge. Right, right hand has the weight. Right leg forward. Two, one. Go ahead, lunge. Back up. So you're doing all one side. We say you're doing the right side because that's the leg that's actually loaded up. Your left leg, left leg is moving, but it's just going down. It's a kickstand, essentially. It's there to keep us balanced as we step back. Good, now balance it, right leg hold. Karate kid style. So at home, you're not leaning. You're squeezing that right butt cheek. Three, two, lunge again. Got it, same leg. So you're lunging, coming through. Lunging, coming through, good. Or you step back and tap it. Keep rocking. Five seconds here. We gotta balance again in five seconds. Get ready for it. Four, three, two, balance. So left leg's up. That right leg and that right foot starting to burn. Nice and tall. Abs drawn in. Four, three, two, relax. Now we're gonna load our left side. You ready? And we're gonna step back with our right leg up. Come back. Or just step back and tap. Step back and tap. I got you step back tap first. Ready? Last one to balance it. Hold it. Tuck that belt buckle up. Just a little bit. So we're arching, it's gonna feel in your back. Tuck that belt buckle up and lunge. Go. Lunge. That butt cheek's burning. Keep rocking there. So as you're doing these, you got two more. Really focus on pushing into the ground with that left foot. Balance, go. Hold that balance. Standing on our left leg. Weights at our left hand. Statue of Liberty, kind of, and only not holding it up. We're four, three, two, and relax there. Speed skate as it is, clear some space out. We're going side to side. Ready? Set, and here we go. I'm gonna show level one, just a stepper. Melanie's on level two. I'm showing level three here in a second. That's level three where you sit. Notice how my back leg's not swinging around behind me. I'm balanced, I'm square. Staying on my inside edge of my shoe. Balancing, boom, and then punch. Four, three, two, one. Kickstand RDL. Kickstand RDL. That's the hamstring move. Right foot down, weights in our right hand. You ready? Two, one, and hinge. Make a fist with your left hand. Pretend like you have a weight in that left hand, and firm up. Try to touch your butt to the wall. Back, and then squeeze through. You should feel that right hamstring, right glute. Feel it? Yes. Good. If you don't feel it, feel free after this. Make comments below, let us know. We'll help you out through it. Five, uh, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Back and through. You got two more. Four, three, two, flip it around. Left side, you're gonna stand on your left leg. Kick stand, ready? Go, back, through, back, through. Keep that chest out. What happens is we get tired when it's bend over, you're gonna feel your back. I want you to maintain plank. Maintain plank. You're literally just moving through your hips. Back, slow, pause, squeeze through. It's a nice little stretch too. You got 10 seconds left here. Take your time. This should take three seconds or so per move. Four, three, last good one here, Mel. And we got push-ups coming at you, okay? You got kneeling push-ups or you got knees off push-ups. Pick your best move, ready, set, and let's go. Down control, push-up. Down control, push-up. For today, let's go. Uh, let's go three seconds down. One second up, and then push. There you go. That means you're under control. You got that plank position locked tight. Take a peek at those backs. Are they arching? Hopefully not. If they are, drop knees, firm up your abs. Three seconds down. One second up. Five seconds here. Four, three, two, one. And relax, that's round one, we're gonna cruise through it now, okay? We got two more rounds. Ipsy lateral, I mean same side. Reverse lunge, and we're gonna throw some balance in. Here we go. 
Weights on our right. Right side. Set. Go ahead. I'm doing the tap for those that can't quite get the lunge. I got a little tap. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Happy Last one, then bounce. And we bring it through. Left knees up. Hips are level. Shoulders are level. Chest is out nice and strong. Four, three, we're going again. Two, and lunge. Go. Come on. If you want to bring that knee up every time, you could. Even if you're tap back, work on your bounce. Work on it. We've got five seconds here. Four, three, Two, and Karate Kid, balance it out. Hold on strong. This is a nice standing plank here. Five, four, three, two, good. We got left side. Nice and tall. You ready? Set, and go ahead. Lunge, come through. Lunge, come through. Lunge, come through. Two more. One more. Bounce. Get that balance first. Get as tall as you can up that left leg. Five, four, three, two, and lunge. Down. If you can, try to get that back knee down. Weights on that front left leg. Ten seconds here. Lunges. Five, four, three, to hold it, right again. Keep squeezing that butt. You feel it, Mel? Yes, I do. Good. Back home, you feel it? Woo! Five, four, three, and more butt stuff. Good. We got speed skaters. All right, speed skaters. Here we go. Ready? And go ahead. I'm doing level one at first. That means lower intensity. Still got to transfer our weight. Still got to sit back. Level threes, you're getting low. You're dropping down. You're standing on one leg. Everyone's standing on one leg back home. There you go. Do your best Apollo. Oh no. 10 seconds. Bonnie Blair. Steve Hyde. Four, three, two, three. Kickstand already yell, right side. Weights in our right leg. Right hand. And right leg. And go ahead. Back. Again, it's about two or three seconds going back. Pause, come through. Pause, come through. Back. Two more. Last one. Hell yeah, we got a left side. Kickstand, RDL, Romanian deadlift. Go ahead. Back, through. Weights on our left foot, left leg. Your right toe is just down for balance. That's your kickstand. Back, come through, good, reach back. Come through, three more. Two more. Yeah, last one. And relax there, good. Push-ups. Okay, we're gonna try for three seconds down. Just go slow. Take the inventory, high your movement. Wrist, elbow, shoulders. Two, one, go. Now, it might be a, a fast three second count, but what I'm trying to get you to do here is pay attention to yourself, pay attention to your body. Keep those eyes up just a little bit, out in front of you. Leave that chest first, and then push through. Coming all the way down. Push through, strike people. Come on, we got 10 seconds left. You got two more in it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, get that last one. Good. All right. We got one more round. One more round. It's a lot to remember. We got you. Reverse lunge, same side. Loading up your right leg. In four, three, two, go ahead. This one really teaches us to focus on the right leg, the balanced foot. So we say push through the floor. Have a good, strong ground contact. You got one more. Bounce. Keep pushing into the ground. Drive those hips up. 
Squeeze your butt on this one. Good karate kid style. Four, three, you can do it again. Two, and lunge. Go, right into it. Tappers, how are we doing out there? Still push with our right leg. Still tap it back with our left. Lunchers, you're dropping down. Come on, get down there. One more, Mel. And let's balance it on top. Karate kick. Hold it out. Take inventory again. Hips level, shoulders level. That belt buckle, make sure it's facing forward. Four, three, two, and awesome. All right, we got left side. Big breath in through our nose. Ready? Set and go. Tap. Boom. Notice how I'm leaning forward, my tappers. Lunges, you're not going to lean as much because you're actually going down with it. But toe tappers, you are. Last one, then bounce. You're balancing. Left foot's on the ground. Karate kid style. Catch your breath. Inhale nose, exhale mouth. And lunge. Go. Come on. Last set here. This is round three already. Come on. Let's go. Get down here. Doing great. We got two more. Last one. Balance for me. On top. Hold it. Hold it. Feel it when you squeeze your butt. You feel it more? Yes. Yeah. When we get nice and tall, we feel it more. Four. Three, two, and relax there. Speed skaters, you got level one, you got level two, you got level three. Pick your best one. Two, one, let's go. Come on, sit. Come on. Get down there. Level threes, level twos. You're staying balanced. You're protecting those knees. You're still working lateral up. There you go. If you're just at level one now, you might be level two later. If you're level two now, you're gonna be level three. 10 seconds, stay with it. Five, four, three, two, and relax there. Kickstand already up. Come on, we got the right side first. Here we go. Ready? Go slow. And back. Take inventory. Where are those hip bones? When you go back, they should face the floor. When you come through and unhinge, they face forward. They never turn right or left on this move. They either go back and face down, forward and butt forward, they face forward. Okay? Good flat backs. Nice hinge here. You're gonna get about two more good reps back home. Five, four, last good rep, two, one, and relax there. Left side kickstand RDLs. Everyone can do this one. Go ahead. We love this one. It's kind of our uh, step back and taps, but only our back foot is there already. And it's more of a, it's more of a hamstring move than a lunge move. So we're not actually squatting down. We're keeping our chest out. And we're getting nice and flat. You guys are doing awesome back home. Mel, you're doing awesome too. <laughs> Good, three more, take your time. There's one, there's two, you got one more good one. And relax there, push-ups. All right, I wanna see two to three seconds down. Are you ready? Yes. Set, and let's go to work, come on. Down, 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 down. Doing awesome here, we're about halfway home. Stay with it, because Melanie's gonna take us through like a three to five minute cool down, a nice quick one, but it's gonna be needed after this workout. We got about 10 seconds left, I want you to get three more good reps. There you go, there's one. Get down there slowly, and then push back up. We got five seconds left here. Four, three, two, and relax there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Don't go anywhere. Quick swig of water if you need it. We're gonna do a really quick cool down. Again, more, more or less just kind of bring our heart rates back down, bring our breath back down, bring our stress back down. You guys are freaking awesome. I'm gonna turn it over to Melanie here. Three to five seconds, or three to five minutes. I'll meet you guys in the child's pose when you're ready. So big toes touch, knees nice and wide. Go ahead and stretch your arms out in front of you. 
Bring your forehead down to the ground. Take some nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Nice deep breath in. Open and let it go. Do two more here. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Nice deep breath in. Long breath out. Go ahead and make your way up to a tabletop, so a quadruped. Fingers open wide, shoulders right over wrists, knees right underneath hips. Doing a couple cat cows here. On your inhale, arch your sit bones high, look forward, drop your belly down. On your exhale, round your back, tuck your chin, pull your shoulder blades apart. Inhale and come back to cow, nice and slow. Exhale, cat. Let's do one more. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to a neutral spine. Exhale all of your air here. And then with your next inhale, reach your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, thread the needle. So bring your right shoulder and your right ear down towards the ground. So using your left hand to gently push yourself onto your right shoulder. You can stay right here. You can lift your left arm high. You can wrap it behind your low back, reach for your inner right thigh. Or you can take your left arm, stretch it up and over your left ear, plant your palm, and use that to gently push yourself onto your right shoulder a bit more. Getting that stretch in the back of your right shoulder blade, your right upper back. I know I need it after all that arm stuff. Sending your breath into that space. Taking nice deep breaths in and long breaths out. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Slowly slide your left hand back towards your face, plant it down. Inhale and stretch your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, go ahead and put it down. Switching sides here. Inhale and lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, thread the needle. Left shoulder, left ear down to the ground. Gently using that to push yourself onto your left shoulder a bit more. Again, you can stay right here if that's enough. You could stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. You can wrap it behind your low back, reach for your inner left thigh. Or you can take your right arm up and over your right ear, plant the palm, and use that to push yourself onto your left shoulder. That's my personal favorite. I can get a little deeper in my shoulder if I do that. So breathing into the back of your left shoulder, your left upper back. And you're not pushing or forcing anything. You're just using your breath to create the space and then maybe moving in a little deeper. Taking nice deep breaths in and long breaths out. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale and place your right palm down. Inhale, sweep your left arm all the way up. Exhale, bring it back to that tabletop. One more stretch here. So just separating your knees a little bit further apart. So just like that frog rock back that we did at the beginning, except here we're gonna hold it. So you can stay up here or you can come down onto your forearms. Just getting a nice stretch for those inner hips and thighs. Just three breaths here. So take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out your mouth. Breathing in, breathing out. One more, nice deep breath in and a long breath out. Go ahead and make your way back up. And we're all set for today. Give yourself a nice round of applause. Thanks for joining us this morning for our 7 o'clock a.m. strength workout. Um, I got yoga coming up for you guys at 8.30 this morning, so you can stick around and join me for that, or you can check it out later. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.